this, or more specifically, this is our new USB-C power delivery module for Cineback. It's a thin module that can be installed and is backward compatible with Cineback and gives you dual USB-C power delivery 65 watt modules. And when you pair it with our really slick right angle camera foundry cables, gives you a really nice low profile way to add power delivery power to your camera and other devices. And it only takes one DTAP connection on your Cineback splitter, is easy to install and available now on our store. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it on both V-mount and gold mount versions of Cineback, and it'll work with all of our Cineback modules available now. In the box, you're going to find the Cineback USB-C module, four longer replacement V-mount screws, the bottom plate, as well as two screws to secure the bottom plate in place. To install the USB-C module, start by taking Cineback and removing the four screws that hold the V-mount plate in place. And I would recommend a Phillips head size one for this. We will not be using these screws going forward. And with them removed, you can gently pull the V-mount plate back and you'll see we have two wires that connect it to Cineback. If the back of your Cineback has brass inserts like this, use the hex bit screws to secure everything in place. Taking a closer look at the module, you'll see there is a side with no screws and a side with screws. The side with screws is going to go up against the back of Cineback. And you'll also notice that there's a slot here at the bottom. That is so that we can slide the entire module over those two wires that we talked about a minute ago. So let's go ahead and take the module and let's slide it over the two wires. And we're gonna make sure that the D-tap cable is coming out on the D-tap side of Cineback now we can reassemble everything and flip it over like so. From here, we can take our four longer screws and these are going to run through the battery plate, through the module and into Cineback. Make sure that you're not tightening one more than the others. We don't want to get one side super tight and then the whole thing to be a little lopsided. So take your time going around and getting all four screws inserted and tightened down uniformly. The last thing we need to do to finish installation on the USB-C module is to install the bottom cover. So there's a small plate that comes with the kit. Simply insert it into the bottom of the module like you see here and use the two small flathead screws to install it in place using a Phillips head size two screwdriver. With that done, we now have the module nice and secure on the back of Cineback. We can then take the cable that is coming out of the module and plug it into Cineback. And now we're ready to have USB-C power delivery for our camera and other devices built directly into Cineback. Some Cineback models have a reversible DTAP module. So if you have that in the other orientation, you can simply take this cable and flip it around and plug it in that way. Otherwise, simply plug it in like you see here and you'll be good to go. Now let's talk about installing the USB-C module for Cineback on Cineback models that have a gold mount battery plate as the process is slightly different. Once again, we're going to use our Phillips head size one and we'll go ahead and remove this gold mount plate with these four screws. Okay, I've pulled out those four screws. Now the plate is loose. I'm going to set these screws aside because we will need to reuse them a little bit later. And now we can gently pull the plate forward and move it off to one side. And that'll expose several Phillips head screws on this back plate here. We're going to need to remove these screws. For this, you can use a Phillips size two screwdriver. With the screws removed, we're going to set those aside. And we now have a loose back plate on our gold unit. From here we can put Cineback on its side and pull both the battery plate as well as the adapter plate away from the Cineback body and at this point we can take our new module and go ahead and install it. Now you'll notice that there's a slot here and on one side we have screw heads. The side with the screw heads is going to butt up to the back of Cineback and we're going to use this slot to go over the two cables that are going to our battery plate. So at this point, we can put it in between Cineback and the battery plate and the adapter plate. And we'll go ahead and slide it over those cables, flip everything back over to the back, gently take the battery plate or the gold mount plate and move it off to one side. Now we can take our four longer screws. They're going to go through this plate through the USB-C module and into Cineback to hold everything together. 
Then we'll replace the battery plate. I like to line up the screws and thread them in so you can just see the tips of the screws coming through both the battery adapter plate and the USB-C module. Then we can line those up with the holes on Cineback and start tightening them down, again, with a Phillips head size one screwdriver. With that installed, we can now take our gold mount battery plate and reinstall it with the original four screws that held it in place. Again, we're going to use our size number one Phillips head screwdriver. The last part of the installation is to take this little bottom cover and to install it here on the USB-C module. Press it in place and take the two included small flathead screws and install them using a Phillips size two screwdriver. With that done, we can take the unit and grab the D-tap cable and install it into the D-tap splitter on Cinepack. And now with the gold mount version, we have a D-tap built into the plate, dual USB-C power delivery for powering our cameras and other devices. And we still have three open positions on our D-tap splitter. From there, we're ready to install our favorite gold mount battery solution. And we're ready to go out and film with Cineback. Now we're able to take our camera foundry right angle USB-C cable, run it through Cineback's built-in cable management and over to our new power delivery module. We can grab a battery for our camera and I'll go ahead and turn Cine back on. And now you can see we have a blue light here and it's actually going to be powering and charging our camera. We're ready to go out and film with a setup that has power delivery. We still have three D-taps and another USB-C jack ready to power other devices on your rig. As far as specs goes on screen, I'm going to display all of the different power outputs for these two jacks on this module. Do keep in mind, this is power delivery capable. So it is going to work with devices that support power delivery. And for devices that do not, it will offer your typical standard five volts. This module really is perfect for not only cameras empowering them, but also other devices that either take five volts or power delivery. Even if your device does not support power delivery, there are cables out there that go from a USB-C connection to specific voltages. For example, this particular cable will take power delivery over USB-C and adapt it to 12 volts on the other end, which is perfect for most monitors. So that is our Cineback USB-C power delivery module available now at camerafoundry.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy filming, and I will see you guys in our next product release video.